Scene 10. Go! Hi, my name is Carrie Caldwell and this is Zia Cooking. I am so excited and glad you could join me today. I've always wanted to share my delicious recipes with all my friends and family and now I can because Zia Cooking is the place where we're going to come together, we're going to learn more about cooking and I am going to share with you all the amazing stories that I've learned from my family, from my ancestors, from our heritage. We'll be talking about recipes from northern New Mexico all the way to southern New Mexico. Zia Cooking is where it's at. We're going to get together, we're going to share recipes, we're going to have fun, and we are going to bring dinner to the table. Hi, cooking fans. Welcome back to Zia Cooking. I'm glad that we're together again, and I am going to be sharing a wonderful recipe with you, one you probably have already seen on the internet, because in 2020, this recipe I posted on New Mexico Recipes went crazy. After sharing my jalapeno butter bath, corn on the cob recipe with everyone, I woke up a few days later and found out it had been shared over 5 million times. And I had got a big shout out from some place like the Food Network and some crazy guy named Bobby Flay. Maybe you heard of him. Well, now that I've shared a little bit about what I'm making, let's go ahead and get started. Butter bath corn is a famous way to make corn in the South. And it's a delicious recipe. I know a lot of people wonder, how would you put all of these together? So let me show you how easy it is. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring some water to boil. Now we wanna make sure that when we're choosing our vessel to cook our corn in, that we're gonna only want to have about two or three inches of water in the, um, in the pan. The reason we wanna do that is we don't wanna fill it up and have our corn floating and flying all over. We want it to be able to soak up all of these wonderful ingredients. So as this is coming to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in one cup of milk. Yes, milk. Would you think you would boil corn in milk? Absolutely, it is the way to bring out the natural sweetness in the corn. And anyone who's in the South probably has a grandma or an auntie who had a butter bath corn recipe. So let's go ahead and show you how easy it is. Now I like to add in butter. Who doesn't love butter? Butter and corn go hand in hand. And this recipe, especially when you're looking at ladies in the South, you'll see that they add in a whole stick of butter, so let's not disappoint them, and let's do the same. Now, as this gets in there and melts, you'll see the steam rising, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in some honey. Now, honey sounds kind of like an odd ingredient, but I promise you it's not too sweet, and I like to add in one full tablespoon. If you have an opportunity to get honey that's local to your area, you wanna do that. It gives you the best benefits for health. It's also great for allergies. So we'll go ahead and stir that in and move that out of the way. Now, very carefully, I would like you guys to put your corn right into the hot butter bath. Butter bath, that sounds like something I might wanna even take a bath in today. We're gonna to go ahead and very carefully add the corn in, and you'll see. Now the corn I use today, I like to peel the, the silks off, but I cut off the ends, and you're gonna go ahead and just put them in there. Now this is where things get a little crazy, and that's where I'm gonna add in some jalapenos. Now, a lot of people wanna know, is this gonna to be too hot to eat, Carrie? No, it's not. It's gonna give a really nice hint of spice, and remember, we're just flavoring the bath. You don't actually have to eat the jalapenos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut these in, and making little coins out of the jalapenos, and we're gonna go ahead and add those directly to the butter bath, and I do include the seeds. I don't take those out. Ahead and just add those in as you see flavoring the water go ahead and include those in there this is a wonderful dish to have for cookouts it's great for Sunday dinners I sometimes make it ahead and haul it out with some fried chicken for a picnic and it is wonderful as you put that in there you'll see as it's coming together 
We don't want to boil this into oblivion. There's nothing worse than overcooked boiled corn. It's too mushy. So we're gonna go ahead and let this sit in the butter bath and bathe and get ready. And it's gonna be tender and delicious. We're gonna let it cook there at a low boil. We don't wanna let um, any of it um, boil out. So we wanna keep it there for about five to seven minutes. And then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to serve. This delicious recipe is great. I hope you take a minute to subscribe to Zia Cooking if you haven't already. And please leave me some comments below. Look at this, it smells delicious and it looks even better. Now I didn't mention before when I started to cook it, the reason that I don't cover it is we wanna make sure that we don't have any boil over since we have a lot of dairy in there. Most of the time when I'm cooking vegetables, I always encourage all of my cooking fans to cover it so we can steam it from the top and the bottom. But today we went ahead and we did it in this traditional style. Now this is a famous recipe for me and it's famous not just because people love making it, it's famous because it makes me feel confident about my cooking skills, confident about creating something fun and also it's exciting to share this recipe with other people, especially those who've made it before in their kitchen. Now look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous. I like to go ahead and leave my corn floating around in the butter bath, let it chill out while I'm making my sides, and I go ahead and I leave my tongs ready so that when people dip it out, you can see that the butter just completely wraps itself around and it clings to the corn just so deliciously. One question I do get is what do I do with the milk and butter and jalapenos when I'm done? You can make a delicious homemade cornbread with it if you'd like. That is why I choose to only make small batches at a time because by the time I'm done pulling all of this delicious corn out, you'll see the butter will have clung to the sides. Now, I want to give a big shout out to Sherry because it was her idea that I create this and I also love to hear what people have to say. So make sure you leave a comment. If there's a special recipe you'd like to see me make, I would love to create it and share it with you. Let's go ahead and take one more close up of this corn and smell it. Smell a vision. It's ready to be invented. Welcome to Zia Cooking and thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you again and make sure you subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.